Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this year at Microsoft's Build Developer Conference, as I have been posting, they announced Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AI assistance to Windows 11's desktop. Now, as I did mention in a video, I did post uh, about a week or so ago, and um, Microsoft will be releasing the Windows AI Copilot um, for Windows 11 um, shortly to the Insider program. And this release was getting a step closer uh, because, as mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, um, a previous uh, dev channel build, 23481, um, now included the actual Copilot um, button, the Copilot taskbar button on the taskbar. And that was an indication that Microsoft could be testing it internally already and working on code for Copilot, although the feature wasn't actually working. And um, I'll leave a link, as mentioned, to that video in the description because um, it could be getting a step closer now for official testing. Now, just to do a quick recap, uh, basically Copilot runs Bing Chat, um, which, as many of you may know by now, um, is an artificial intelligence chatbot, which is based on OpenAI's ChatGPT. And uh, um, the Copilot is very similar and runs inside a web-based container on the desktop. So it's a very similar um, feature and does very similar uh, functions um, to the actual Bing Chat um, chatbot chat GPT. Now, um, what I thought we could do in this video is just have a little bit more of a hands-on kind of in-depth look at Copilot because um, Windows Latest has actually uploaded an interesting article where they say they have managed to get early access um, to an unreleased version of the actual AI Copilot for Windows 11. And I thought this was interesting. So if you would be interested, just to have a look um, at some screenshots by Windows Latest and just go through some of the key highlights that we know already from this early released version. Apparently, um, and uh, I've mentioned some of these points previously, but apparently you can ask the assistant to change any setting in the operating system. So as an example, um, you can ask uh, the co-pilot to turn on dark mode or do not disturb modes. So as we can see, if we just zoom in here, uh, you can ask it um, uh, to turn on dark mode uh, as an example in this case. And at this stage though, it says, sorry, I can't do that right now. Try asking again later. So obviously there are a couple of glitches because it is still very early days. And this hasn't even officially started rolling out yet to the insider program. But nonetheless, that just gives us a general idea. And um, you can also ask it to open a app such as Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. Or you can also ask the Windows 11 Copilot for desktop uh, to configure Windows. So you can actually ask this thing to maintain and turn on and turn off different settings without actually navigating to the actual settings um, yourself. So a lot of extra functionality, so to speak, will be brought to your desktop. And which is going to be interesting to see when this does roll out to a stable version of Windows 11. And according to um, the article, um, it does appear to, to work a lot better than the current search um, and the search actual taskbar search found in Windows 11. So you can obviously ask the, um, the co-pilot to search for different apps and services and so on. And apparently it is working a lot better according to that article than the actual taskbar search, which is currently available. Now, one or two other things just to take note of. Um, as mentioned, the co-pilot is web-based and can detect apps that you're actually using. So as an example, um, if you're uh, using Outlook or Word, you can open Windows Copilot to help you write um, an email or summarize the essay that you're typing out in Word, which um, might be a handy um, bit of functionality when that does roll out to the stable version. And uh, um, the web integration allows Microsoft, according to Windows Latest, to improve the Windows Copilot core at any moment. So basically, because it's a web-based container, um, this could be updated very similar to how Microsoft Edge, as an example, is updated. And as I've mentioned previously, um, the Windows 11 Copilot is basically a very souped up version of Cortana, where Cortana was a digital assistant. Um, this is going to be a artificial intelligent um, assistant. So that's the difference between Cortana and um, the actual Copilot. And as mentioned, um, Microsoft is going to start rolling out Windows Copilot to uh, the Insider program where it will start its official testing um, in the coming weeks. And um, as I have mentioned in a previous video, the Copilot for Windows 11's desktop, I think personally, will start rolling out uh, in the feature update. We will be getting 
um, in the next coming months, September, October, November for Windows 11 uh, version 23H2, which will be the main feature update rolling out, which takes Windows 11 from version 22H2 to 23H2 later this year. And I think that's um, more or less when Microsoft will start pushing out the new Windows Copilot, which is a basically brings um, the centralized AI assistance to the Windows 11 desktop. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.